Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today, we're about to do something fun. We're doing bandana eyes. I'm super duper nervous <laughs> about doing this look, but I know for sure it's gonna come out fire because it always does in the end. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to create some bandana eyes, then please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey, hey, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Bye. All right, beauties, let's go ahead and get started. So for this look, I'm going to go in with the Raver. This is a P. Louise paint, and this will lay down nice and flat for what we're trying to do. With the paint, you don't want to put a base. They are pretty much their own kind of base. So just figure out where you want it to be placed and go from there. I have hooded lids, so I always want to make sure to go above. And I think I'm going to do this kind of like a ribbon effect. This actually sets itself, but I'm going to create a gradient and then we'll go in and start to create the rest of the eye. So for now, let's go ahead and make this sharper. For that, I'm gonna go into some baby oil, Johnson's baby oil, and a Q-tip. All right, now we're gonna just cut this. All right, that's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into our coconut base from Foods Cosmetics. I'm gonna cut that right underneath. All right, beauty, so this is good. Now we're gonna go into the map book. And I'm going to go over this eye with this color here, just kind of like a tan color, and just set the lid. I want to make a gradient here, so I'm going to go into this light pink here. I'm going to blend that right above. Then I'm going to go back into that dark pink and just blend that a little bit more close to that line. I have this pencil, this little thin brush here, and I'm going to be using outline and pavement from Lashing Out Glam. Starting off with the white, from what I see, the white design looks like it's more prevalent and then the black is kind of like a little dot here and there. Right, beauty so now we're going to go ahead and go into our black rhinestones and we're going to bring that going right across here i'm going to go back over my lid with the tan color 
the whole thing with white now. And I'm going to go into this pigment here. This is a white pigment with the pink reflect. And we're going to add that on the lid. I'm using the Sharp Me liner and we're going to create our black liner. I'm going to try and outline this with this pink color. All right, so now just for this outside part, we're going to put these pink rhinestones to add a little bit more dazzle. All right, beauties, it's time to do the face. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go in with the matte oil control lotion from Elf Cosmetics. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our Elf Putty Primer. Going in with my H Arc Dust Powder. Set the primer. Going into my Fenty Beauty 370. 16 concealer from Juvia's Place. Rich Chocolate from Elf Cosmetics. And then I'm going to go back in now with my contour brush and just bring everything back together. Alright, so we're setting the face now with the A chalk dust powder that we used before to set the face. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do our contour. Now we're going to go ahead and highlight with the flower powder from Beauty Bakery.
pink here. And I'm gonna mix it with like a darker kind of burgundy color to darken the pink. Let's hurry up and do these brows and then we'll take the rest of this extra powder off. I'm gonna go ahead and go into this light pink from Colourpop Cosmetics. Now we can blend away the extra powder. I don't want that to sit too long. Full, full frontal from Fenty Beauty. Let's go ahead and add these lashes, y'all. Alright, so now I'm going to go into Pink Me from the Crayon Case Contradition Notebook. Now it's time to do our blush. I like how this is looking, y'all. This came out so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look how big this book is, y'all. We're going to go ahead and go into this color right here. Just tap it lightly. Super pigmented, you need one swipe, one tap with this blush binder. You can see this is super pigmented. To bronze, I'm going to go into this color here and mix it with this color here. I'm going to go into this um, book again. I'm going to the Pink Me highlighter. Go into the BFF two liner, outline the lip. I'm gonna go into Hell City from the crayon case. I mean, going into Loyalist from Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Now I'm going to go into the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Gloss. Alright beauties, I'll be back. Alright beauty, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on this bandana eyeshadow. I'm so here for it. I really, really love how it came out and I feel like it is slaying. Let me know how you guys feel about this look below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey, hey. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed. I have so much more stuff coming that is nice, fun, creative makeup. And um, I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to be your own kind of beautiful because there's only one you. Bye.